TDU 3, part 26. Walk through for it. Part 26. Let's go. Okay, first things first. We need to go down to the garage and get in a car. Or we can just simply walk out the hotel. Actually, hold on. Yeah, well, we can just simply walk out the hotel. Let's go play one of the new events. And up some more of the new events. Yeah, there we go. Alpha Romeo, let's go. I want to go to one of the new events. That's a lot of responses for the race. Okay, cool. I'll come back to that. Turn left. You have arrived. First, I'm going to try another plane race. Four seventy eight, Alpha Romeo, Quadra Verde, whatever it is, good. Oh, it's Quadra Verde, probably November. Two thousand and ten. I like it. The goal, ladies and gents, is to try and. Uh, Might be so rough for everyone. Close. Wait, that's close to it. This thing does not like hills, but it definitely does like speeding. I don't understand. This thing is still a piece of shit. Well. The game's AI, this is.
Good enough for me. Okay, we're going to move on. So we're going to go to a different race. This one in particular. Nice ratio gearbox. A transmission. Guy switching my transmission over to a stage one sequential gearbox. Just FYI, that is next. We are surprised to know, ladies and gents, that all Alpha Romeos use twin spark engines. That's simply because Italy. Will help. Will help. Insert armor wall riding noob here. And too hard. So we're going to move on from that race too. Because the AI is still insanely difficult and no can. Sorry, Narcan. Uh, sorry, Narcon has not even uploaded it yet. Moving on. Mm, DLG or Grand Tour? Oh, I know what they like. I've got a grand tour for them. Believe you'll be. Wait. What the hell? Why are you telling me to do a U turn? Turn right. When you told me to go this way in the first place. Not very smart GPS. Actually, higher top, uh, a higher speed around there. Turn left. Mm. 
Really? What? Turn right. Huh. I almost went the wrong way. I'm a dumb dumb. There you go, there's a meeting area. That calm when the car is slipping in there. <laughs> Bridge of loss in 2014. <laughs> Sorry, no, 2016. <laughs> you have arrived. Little John 316. Alright, so I'm going to change this car over from this thing to this. I'll hit save. It was a hit automatic configuration for the race. Hit start race. Because ladies and gentlemen, this thing definitely does not like to slow down. <laughs> I love this thing. It's like, it's like the, uh, it's like today's version of uh, the SLS AMG. Ah, oh, look, <laughs> they're all classics, <laughs> except probably the the, the daily driver uh, that are in this race. Three daily drivers that are in this race. Oh god, there's an I8 in front of me. Beep beep. Excuse me, sir. Get the hell out my damn way. Ow. <laughs> just, just casually going 150 miles an hour. Ha! <laughs> 1951 vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, oh, sorry, no, 1954 vehicle. <laughs> oh, you know, just casually, I just casually slapped an OM606 into this thing and just decided that diesel talk was the way to go here. Wait, wait, hello. Oh god, the hybrid's caught up, damn it. Dang it. I have to do that again.
But damn, ladies and gents, what a car. Auto configure, car setup, and it'll also go sport mode. It's safe. 7.3 on the acceleration, and obviously the speed. <laughs> this car is this car is literally the fastest in the entire game. J JK, ladies and gentlemen, it is not the fastest car in the game. <laughs> fastest car in the game will always be a hybrid or be an electric car. So, big Sag.exe. Yeah, see the I8 in front of us. Perfect launch. Okay. You might want to just scooch out the way a little bit there, Mustang. That's on me. Not enough steering. There we go. Let's hit that start race button. This is a clan race. Are oh, we looking for reporting? Oh, yeah, 20 minutes almost. All right, ladies and gents, 20 minutes. And I still haven't won this race or the previous two yet. Well, you know how it is, you know where they are. Let that torque kick in. 1950s technology. Old, just like me. Except I'm not old itself, I'm just old school. I call myself mature, if you will. First place is just gone. All right, we're going to move on. We're going to move on. You know where it is. And you know what car to use at uh, 550 on the, um, on the what's its face. So we'll go find another event, one that I can actually win in. Off-road. But yeah, it's just the way I like it. All right, let's move on. Rainita! <laughs> Sientero! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I do like that thing. It's so much fun to drive. Off road. So powerful. Turn right. Obviously, this thing. Front wheel drive. Very drifty. On dirt.
especially when the tyres are all seasoned. By the way, this is very unrealistic traction up there, by the way. Uh, just FYI, pardon me. I don't know what's realistic traction on dirt, ladies and gents. Pretty long ass drift, I'm not gonna lie. This actually feels like a damn rally. Hmm, I think I might just buy one of these in real life. And enter the rally with it. See if I can't win myself a rally championship with it. But ensure... Oh boy! Ensure that... Oh boy, here we go. Hang on. Ensure that the rally is appropriate for the car. I.e. ensure that I have uh, the, the uh, required weight, 1350 kilos, which is kind of heavy for a rally car. But you know what? That's 3,400 pounds. It's pretty standard. You have arrived. All right, so I'll change tires. Change cars, pardon me. Can read. Head automatic configuration and fine. All right. Let's go trail mode. Oh no. Okay, there's another Cientero right to my right. Ah, you. That was on me. I'll take that hit. I'll take that loss. Off our tires. you there ladies and gents. If I can't win this race in this attempt I'll end the recording and move on to part 27. fucking see that <laughs> what a way to end this video <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go do these races that I've already showed you guys alone and off camera that being said thanks for watching I'll see you guys in part 27